Hello folks. In today's video, we are going to see how to implement one of Amazon solution called as EC2 instance schedulers. Say for example, you have different environments called as dev, test and production. And during the weekends, you don't want to run your dev and test environments because your developers and your testers are not going to work there. So you can potentially save some cost during the weekends when the environments are not used you can potentially shut them down or scale them down to a lower instance types or you can reduce your database throughput to a lower level so we are going to look at one of those solutions which helps you to turn off instances and turn on instances dynamically using a cloudwatch event triggers and you will also use a dynamo db as it is shown here to manage the state of the instances it will have a clear state of which instances are being turned off, which instances are being turned on, and it will trigger a Lambda function, which is going to go and check the instances and keep the DynamoDB table updated also. And the coolest thing about this solution is it can run on multiple regions. Say, for example, you deploy it in Ireland, you can control the instances running in other regions as well. Easily, you can turn off instances running in, say, Frankfurt or US Virginia, or Mumbai or Singapore. So this solution is completely flexible on how many regions you want to run. Not just that, you can have multiple tags so that you can differentiate between a certain group of instances. For example, the instances running in Ireland need to be turned on and off at a different time schedule, whereas the instances running in a different region, say for example, US, will need to be turned on and off at a different schedule. So based on one tag key and different tag values, you can make the instances are turned on and off at a different schedule. So let us go to our Amazon dashboard and see how to implement this. Here I am in my EC2 dashboard for Ireland region. And you can see here a couple of servers are already running. One is for dev environment, another one is for test environment. But I don't want them to be running over the weekend. But I, as I see there, the instance state is currently in running and I want them to be automatically turned off. So let us see how we can turn these two instances off by deploying the EC2 instance scheduler. So let us head over to our cloud formation dashboard and I'm going to click on create new stack. And then I have already downloaded the template that Amazon provides and put it in my desktop. Let's go ahead and pick that. Now I selected the uh, template file from my desktop. I'm just going to go ahead and create it. So I'm going to say EC2 instance scheduler and I'm just going to give the name of the scheduler tag as a default one as it is is good and I want to turn on and off only my EC2 instances I don't want to turn off my RDS instance so just choose EC2 and whether you want this to be on yes I will say yes and then in the region I'm going to leave it as blank because I want to run it only in Ireland region for the moment so I'm just going to leave it as blank and then the default uh, time zone is going to be UTC time zone. That is fine with me. So I'll leave it as it is. And only for this account, I don't want to run it on multiple other accounts. So just leave it as yes. And frequency, do you want to run it every five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes? So let us say I want this is a demo and I want the instances to be turned off immediately. So I'm just going to say two minutes so that it will go ahead and turn them off as soon as the schedule comes online. And what is going to be my Lambda size? So 128 MB of RAM for my Lambda should be good enough for me. If I want to have detailed monitoring logs of what is happening when my Lambda is triggering, what instances are being stopped, and if I want to have a chart or visualization of how many instances being turned off, then you go ahead and enable your CloudWatch metrics. Do I want to share some data with Google or uh, Amazon? Yeah, I can go ahead and put in no or yes, depending upon how you want to work with Amazon. Go ahead and choose the options that feel comfortable there. And yes, I would like to have some logs and retention. So these are two important tags I would strongly recommend you to set up because this will clearly know who started that instance and who stopped that instance. So I'm just going to call it as started by EC2 instance scheduler. I'm just going to put it that here and then I'm just going to say stopped by Okay, let us go ahead and click next and go ahead and submit that. Yes, I would like the necessary roles to be created. Click on create. 
So what this is going to do is it is going to create the DynamoDB table. It is going to set up the IAM roles. It is going to set up the Lambda functions and update the DynamoDB table with the default configuration that we just now filled in. And it is going to take a couple of minutes for all this process to be completed. So you can see here already some of the resources are getting created. And I, as I said, the IAM role and then the SNS topic and everything is getting created there. I am in the Lambda section and you can see here there is a new function that has been created and it was created about 20 seconds ago. So I'm just going to go over to my DynamoDB also to show you what is happening there. Here we are in the DynamoDB and we can see here there are two tables. One is for config table and then the state table. And if I go ahead and choose the state table, it is as of now empty. As soon as those two instances are stopped, we should be having an entry here. Let us go ahead and check the other table. And here you have all the default configurations that we set up under config item. You will find all the metrics that we set up, whether it was running in US West and the started by tag, stopped by tag, and the default tag name that it was looking for, tag schedule that is. And then you remember I have chosen my instances to be running on UK office hours. And you can see here the time period for UK office hours is mentioned as office hours under office hours the time period says Monday to Friday and it should be running from 9 in the morning and evening 5. So any instances running outside of his office hours will be automatically stop, go into the stop state and on Monday morning at 9 o'clock they will be brought up online. So this is a table that has all the configurations. You can go ahead and customize them anytime you want. You just go ahead and say instead of starting at 9 o'clock and you want to start them at say for example 7 o'clock all you have to do is come here and edit that and all your instances will start booting up at seven o'clock itself. So let me go back to my Lambda functions now. I'm inside my Lambda function. I'm just going to go to monitoring section and you can see here my Lambda has already been triggered once and I'm going to go ahead and check my EC2 instance state and if it is not working, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes so that all the settings come into place and the instances are turned off automatically. You can see here both my instances are turned off and I have selected the test instance now and if I go to my tag section and you can see here it says stopped by my instance scheduler and if I go to my description and it will say that it was launched less than an hour ago but if I scroll down and you can see here the transition state it is client initiated and user initiated shut down. So my other instances are also been automatically stopped and you can see here it is stopped by my instance scheduler. So that is how you set up instance scheduler in your account which will automatically turn or turn off your instances based on the schedule that you choose in the configurations. And if you want to go ahead and customize in your DynamoDB tables as well. So let's go ahead quickly to our DynamoDB table and see what is the state table says. I'm going to go to my state table and you can see here there are a couple of uh, instances that has been attached that is here the first instance and it is in stopped state and also my second instance that is also in stopped state. So if you have any difficulty in setting it up in your account, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.